Hello everyone. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today for Make It Monday. My name is Lori Staley. I am the Addicted Stamper with Stampin' Up! and I've been a U.S. demonstrator for over 17 years now. That what they say is true. Time flies when you're having fun and I've been having fun for all of those 17 years because I love what I do and I love sharing it with all of you. Today I want to share a project I created with the Sand and Sea Suite. And this is an amazing suite of products. If you are a beach lover, if you have a friend or a family member who's a beach lover and you enjoy making cards or home decor projects or scrapbook pages for them, then you want to check this suite out. This is in our January through June catalog. Um, it has a bundle, right? Saves you 10% when you purchase the stamps and the dies together. But it also carries, excuse me, carries a coordinating embossing folder some embellishments called opal rounds, pearlescent paper that has a beautiful sheen to it, some stickers, and then of course the designer series paper. It all coordinates beautifully together. As a matter of fact, if you've not seen this suite before, I wanna make sure to show you the dies and the stamps and the seashell embossing folder. So the very cool thing about this suite that I don't believe we've ever had in any other suite that we've offered, we have this amazingly large die. And that die, hopefully you'll be able to see this. If not, I'll show you after I do the embossing. Lines up perfectly with the stamped images. Can you see, or with the uh, embossed images. And of course, you could use your stamparatus line up the stamps so that they will fit right into this die and the die would cut them. Or you could just stamp them in that orientation and run them through the embossing folder using this as your guide for your stamps when you set them down on your paper and you would get a beautifully stamped embossed image. So that is really cool. And of course the coordinating stamps, right, come with the stamp set. So a very, very cool product. You also get some individual the starfish, the sand dollar, one of the little, what I call the clamshells, and a couple pieces of seaweed. But let me show you what I mean so you can see it with an embossed piece of cardstock. We're gonna use this piece on our project today, but I'm gonna emboss it so I can show you this effect. So I'm just gonna lay that in uh, my folder. I'm gonna run it through what I call the boss, it's the die cutting an embossing machine from Stampin' Up, and I just have it sitting here to my left, so I'm gonna go off camera for just a second and roll that through. Bring it back, and you can see how beautiful that embossed paper is. And then, oh, there it is. I'm like, what did I do with the die? <laughs> You can also see how you can line that up and it will cut each one of those shells out perfectly. So hopefully you can see that on camera. But that is really cool and gives you so many options um, to use your dies and your stamps and your embossing folder together. All right, so since I brought that piece out, let me show you the card. We'll take this and put this over here for right now. Here is the card that we're gonna make. It is a fun fold, very easy fun fold actually. One of my favorites, because I got the measurements in my head. This one I can keep all the measurements in my head for, right? So we are using a base of Sahara sand, and I'll lay this here for a second, but be assured that you will have the measurements in the description below the video. So if you are new and you've not subscribed, or if you're visiting and you still haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, it will allow you to know that I have videos coming up. It will give you the access to the description, which may or may not be there at the filming of this, but it will definitely be there later. And also ring that bell so you get notified when I do put new videos up. But four and a quarter by 11 is our base piece. So let me grab our scoring paper cutter. I love that it all comes in one thing. We are going to score at two and three quarters. Make sure you have the scoring blade. Actually, I just scored that at two and a half, but we're gonna hide that <laughs> with our designer paper. 
and then five and a half. All right. We're going to do the same scores, two and three quarters, on the smaller piece. And this piece measures two and three quarters by 11. On the small piece, we're going to fold towards ourselves. I can move this out of the way. There, I rang the bell. How about that? <laughs> we're going to crease on our score lines. So the first one came towards you, the second one went away, or you created a valley and a mountain fold, if you know, know it better by that. And then we're gonna bring this one in, and this one goes the opposite direction, right? So we're gonna fold this away from us, or create the mountain fold, and then fold it towards us to create the valley fold. Now you probably are already seeing what this does we're gonna line this up in the opposite directions, right? So, yeah, I think I did that wrong, but there we go. Okay, just like that. The designer paper is gonna hide that extra score mark that I made, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now. I am gonna crease those folds again, just a little bit to give it a little bit extra. There we go. Now we're gonna bring in that beautiful shell paper that's in the Sand and Sea Designer Series paper. Line that up on our front flap. Okay. Remember I embossed this piece. We're gonna put that here on the back. Be very careful when you're using your seal on embossed cardstock. The embossing helps to break some of the fibers down so we can get this beautiful deep impression. But that makes it fair game to the seal or the seal plus, as sticky as that is, it can sometimes pick up those broken fibers and just kind of tear your paper and then the cardstock gets wrapped in here. So a lighter touch when you're using it on embossed is always better. We're gonna bring in the Oso oh Ombre. This is a celebration free item that you can earn with a $50 purchase through the end of February. Celebration is January and February only right now, not March as we've done in the past, but we will be bringing it back in the summer with the July through December, or I still call it the holiday catalog, um, catalog. so that'll be really cool. The summer's going to be really busy for Stampin' Up! this year because we also release our annual catalog in May. All right, and then this is another piece of the sand and sea paper. The thing that I love about our sand, sand and sea, or any of our designer papers actually, is that they are two-sided, but they also have a white core. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this paper towards me, obviously, because I want to expose that white core on this side that we're gonna be putting down to replicate our sand on our card. Okay, so just like that, I think it helps it look a little frothy where the ocean's coming in. And let me tape that down. We're gonna put that right here along the bottom edge. All right, before I mount it to my card, we're gonna go ahead and stamp this um, congratulations image. I am actually creating a retirement card. My husband came home the other day and said, do we have any, do you have any retirement cards, preferably beachy theme? I said, well, I don't necessarily have one handy, but I can certainly make one. And so I thought, oh, how cool to make a fun fold card with a beach theme. And then I just wanted to come and share it with all of you because I thought it turned out really nice. So this congratulations is from the stamp set. Here's a card. It is a great word set. This is actually in our um, 21, 2021 annual catalog. So you can find it in there. But one of my favorite things in here says, um, I made you a card because you're worth it. <laughs> and isn't that the truth? All right, so we're gonna do our best to stamp this on here straight. 
And I think we did pretty good. That says congratulations. Now I feel like I can go ahead and mount this. See, there's the Rococo side of the ombre. That's closer to the bottom edge of that side where the color's a little deeper. And then I'm gonna bring in my um, seashells. I did go ahead and stamp and die cut the seashells for you. So I have a sand dollar, a starfish, and what I think of as a little clam shell, if you will. And I'm gonna bring in my silicone pad because I want to add some color to these with our blending brushes. And I'm just putting a little bit of seal. You could also use a mini glue dot. Um, did you ever notice the seal doesn't really like to play in tiny spaces? That's one place where I think the old adhesive um, did a little bit better. It was a little bit easier to get it to sit down in a lower or a smaller area. So we're gonna put some color on all of these. Um, I use my blending brushes, you can see here. I have several with me today. All a different color, family, core. So we've got browns, pinks, blues, and yellows. I do not wash my brushes in between. I just wipe them off, you know, get the color out of them. And I don't want a lot of color, just a little bit of shading, so we're good with the yellow. But then I always use them in the same color family, if you will. I'm gonna add a little petal pink. Not petal, Blushing Bride, sorry. Blushing Bride. Again, that is a, I don't know if you guys are like this, but I have colors that I always reach for, and then I have colors that I never reach for. Sahara Sand is one that, again, I don't really reach for often until this suite came out. Now I reach for it all the time. But Blushing Bride, I'm not a, I'm not a big blushing bride person either. And then we're just going to use a little bit of the Sahara Sand ink on the sand dollar. But the reason I put that tape behind it is these are small pieces. And if I was trying to hold that with my finger, one thing I'd probably have a lighter mark than I want, and it would be hard to even the tone out. But it also would be just hard to hold on to them with my fingers regardless. And I just want to give that a hint of darkness darker than it is so we're good there but I do love the blending brushes you get three in a package for $12 I think that's a very good deal because of the size of them I love the handle it's a little bit wider so it fits better in my hand than other ones I've used prior to stamping up bringing theirs out and uh, like I said I just dedicate to a yellow a pink family and then I don't have to clean them. If I do clean them, if I do decide at some point I'm going to wash them out, then I would make sure that they were either laying on their, like this, which would be hard because the head is heavier, or standing straight up so the water drains out of the bristles, because these are just soft bristles. I think someone said to me on one video they thought they were um, sponges on the end of that, but they're not. They're, they're very tight, soft bristles. All right, so we're going to put our sand dollar down first. And I actually didn't, I thought about dimensionals and I actually chose not to use any dimensionals on this card. You certainly could pop your shells up Two oddities for me. No dimensionals and no embellishments. Although I did think about grabbing those opals and scattering a few on the front there. Okay, so that is our front panel. We're going to do our back panel. And since you saw me use the brushes on the seashells, I did go ahead and make a coordinating piece of paper. It is a slight difference, not very much, and I actually used balmy blue to create this, not the Bermuda Bay. The Bermuda Bay was a little brighter than I wanted it, but I thought this gave me the closest, closest connection to that color, if you will. 
All right, so I know I used Sahara sand for the greeting in here, but I think I'm gonna make it black. Use the memento to make it black. Um, so it coordinates with the card front. And this greeting um, is enjoy your retirement. It comes from the itty bitty greetings, but this is prior to cling. So you will notice my stamp does not have a label on it because they stick better to the block if you have the old clear mounts, and you probably know this, they stick much better to the block if you don't mount the labels. Over time, if you mount the labels, they will start to not stick um, or adhere, and then you end up using like Tombow liquid glue or your, I haven't tried it with seal, but I used to use the old adhesive the old adhesive applicator. So I just prefer not to put the stickers on. So we're going to put that right there. And then I did come in with a little shell just to bring that theme the whole way through the card, right? And let me bring this back in here for one second. So, cause I'm gonna go off the edge and I want my pink. And I want my Sahara sand. Hopefully I'm in camera for you guys. That's the hardest part in doing the videos is making sure you stay in camera. <laughs> All right, we're going to pick up a little bit of that Blushing Bride and just not even using the full head of the brush. I'm just using the tip, if you will, to add some color to that shell. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. If you like this design, um, you can see another version of it on my Facebook page. Lori Staley Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. I do what I call Come Stamp Along With Me every Sunday night on there. And I give all the supply lists, the dimensions of the cardstock, etc. Uh, during the day on Sunday. And then we go live at 8 o'clock at night. And sometimes the folks stamp with me and sometimes um, they just come and watch. But I did another, another version of this. Um, last night using the Berry Blessings and the Strawberry Bundle. That one came out really cute as well. If I have it close by, I'll show it to you at the end, then you can decide if you want to go watch. Okay, so I think we're ready to put our card together. Looks pretty good. Here we go. Now, I'm not going to put my adhesive for the front attachment on the back of this. I'm afraid I would go too far over. And what we don't want to do is we don't want to seal our card shut. So I'm just going to put some right here on the front flap, kind of centered so I know that I'm going to catch a good portion of this. There we go. And then I'm, I am going to put it on the back flap of this. And I want this all to stay together very nicely. And then I just folded the back over and it helps me make sure that I am aligned and it's coming across there straight. And then I can rub on the back, right? So there was our original and there is the one we just created together. So I hope you like this card. If you do, please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment and let me know. As I said, please, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell so that you're sure to get notified. If you do not have a demonstrator in the U.S. that you are currently working with and you would like catalogs, I'd be happy to help you with that and would love to, love to help you on your stamping journey. Um, and if you're ready to order and you don't have another demonstrator you work with, here is my website and my hostess code for February. That will be good up until next Sunday or this coming Sunday, I guess, right? That's the 28th of February. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Have a great week, and I'll see you next Monday for Make It Monday. Thanks. Bye.